Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Stay peaceful, stay together! Dozens of people arrested on Detroit's east side late tonight when a standoff between police and protesters ends in the middle of Gratiot Avenue. Topping our news tonight at 11, that large crowd was marching down Gratiot well past curfew when Detroit police finally moved in. It was about 45 minutes past the city's 8 p.m. curfew when the arrests were made. Jason Colthorpe is live at Gratiot and Connor where this happened. Jason, the chief told you warnings were issued to that crowd before the officers moved in. Several warnings, Kimberly, and uh, several warnings that I heard walking with these protesters for the last couple miles down to this spot, which is now not a heck of a lot left other than some signs that were left behind and other things that were bagged up by trash. In fact, a couple of people that were out here just came looking for a missing fanny pack that they had lost. But the chief also said, you know, uh, that a lot of these people were looking to get arrested. And when they converged on the protesters here at 845 on each side of them, that's exactly what happened. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we won't go. Among the people marching in the streets of Detroit Tuesday, this group of about 150 splintered off and walked north on Gratiot as the city's curfew was about to take effect. Detroit activist Tristan Taylor helped organize the group that consisted mostly of people with the group by any means necessary. The goal is to stand up against uh, the attempt to take away our constitutional right to protest. As the clock struck eight, police began warning the group to leave. When the protesters crossed Connor, police vehicles raced in from the south and about 100 officers were waiting at East Outer Drive, basically boxing the protesters in. Minutes later, two protesters gave themselves up, and then, as we were live, police now everywhere. Chaos erupted. Police now everywhere, tackling everyone. Back up. Chief James Craig was on the scene as the situation played out. We gave repeated, repeated warnings. We gave them an opportunity to disperse. Uh, there was a refusal. We were hoping they would just leave and go wherever they wanted to go. Officers were seen washing tear gas from protesters' eyes as they sat in restraints and were later loaded up and taken away. Absolutely support it. I embrace it. But we can't have a violation of the law. And there's a curfew order in effect. You're blocking the street. And in fact, we know definitively there was conversations among those among that wanted to be arrested. In fact, they were passing out numbers for attorneys. In addition to the several warnings the chief told me, they actually told them they would let them walk back downtown and get their vehicles. In fact, they even said they would give those protesters a ride back downtown. Now, uh, my colleague, the night camp, Tim Pamplin, had another angle of what played out here, and he also has details of the other two groups of protesters that were out there tonight. Tim? Police have been monitoring this particular group of protesters all night. They found themselves with police to the back and police to their front. One final order to disperse, and then police made their move. Grabbing each of the protesters, knocking them down, and getting the zip tie handcuffs on them. Like I say, the evening started with one group of protesters downtown at headquarters. They then splintered off into three groups. Group one and two made it back to headquarters by curfew and went home. This group, group three, didn't. They carried on advancing up Gratiot. During the takedown, Detroit Free Press reporter Darcy Moran was thrown to the ground. Police then noticed her media credential on her back, raised her up, let her go. Like I say, police had been monitoring this group all night long, and as they made their way within blocks of the 9th Police Precinct, police put a stop to it. We were marching peacefully, and they attacked us. So as police continue loading up all the protesters, They'll be getting tickets for a curfew violation. I heard a couple of sailors who are heading onto the bus. We'll be back tomorrow. Let's hope tomorrow night it can remain peaceful. That is the scene right now on the east side with the night cam. Tim Pamplin, Local 4.